According to recent news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's new home has breached by an intruder many times. Sussex's fans worry that, will their accommodations be safe? How much it costs for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to keep their family safe? Among the dramatic revelations from this week's, in Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's interview with Oprah, was that the royal family had cut them off financially, leaving them responsible for the significant cost of providing for their own security. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's annual security bill could easily reach $2 to $3 million for around-the-clock protection, according to four security experts interviewed by Forbes. Harry said that the couple never considered going into business with streamers like Netflix and Spotify, until a friend suggested it, I just needed enough money to pay for security to keep my family safe. It looks like they will need it. Even with deals worth a reported $100 million and $25 million, respectively. Protecting individuals like the Duke and Duchess of Sussex can cost more than eight figures per year, experts say. Harry and Meghan's US home has reportedly been breached by an intruder, twice in just three days. In December, the couple were allegedly faced with a trespasser at their home in Montecito, California, TMZ reports. Nicholas Brooks, 37, was reportedly first caught by police at the estate on Christmas Eve, but was let off with a warning. He was only arrested after he showed up at the property again on the 26th of December. The man has since been charged with misdemeanor trespassing. Sources allege Brooks drove all the way from Ohio to California to attempt the trespassing. His motive for the trespass remains unclear but it will undoubtedly add to the couple's security concerns. After stepping down as senior royals and while living on Vancouver Island, they were told their security was to be cut off. They'd initially been planning to still serve as members of the royal family, which is why they chose a Commonwealth country to move to. According to a 2021 report by Forbes, Harry and Meghan have a combined net worth of $10 million. The magazine also reported that the two have a nest egg of $5 million, after they bought their $14.7 million house in Montecito in August 2020. Well, one source of income was from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's massive Netflix deal in 2020. Harry and Meghan signed a deal with the streaming service at the time for $100 million. Quibi had a huge offer out to Meghan Markle that was in the tens of millions, a source said. Netflix whooped in on their production deal is worth over 100 million. In the Oprah interview, Harry said, I've got what my mum left me and without that, we wouldn't have been able to do this. Reports show that Prince Harry and his brother William received the bulk of the $17 million fortune left by their late mother, Princess Diana. According to the BBC, Prince Harry is also thought to have been left millions of pounds by his great-grandmother, the Queen Mother. Meghan Markle has her own wealth too from her acting career, with seven seasons of the hit show Suits behind her for which she was paid around $50,000 per episode. The New York Times also reported that Harry and Meghan signed a deal with Harry Walker Agency in June 2024 speaking engagements with fees estimated at $1 million per speech. Topics for Harry included mental health and grieving. Harry Walker also represents the Abamas. In 2021, Harry and Meghan also launched a podcast with Spotify. Since they left the Royals, Meghan and Harry have also worked with streaming services like Apple TV Plus and Disney Plus. The partnership will work with Meghan and Harry's production company to create documentaries children's programming, docuseries and scripted series. The deal will feature projects that Meghan and Harry care about and highlight issues that are relevant to their non-profit, Archiwell. Our lives, both independent of each other, and as a couple have allowed us to understand the power of the human spirit, of courage, resilience, and the need for connection, the couple said in a statement at the time. Through our work with diverse communities and their environments, to shining a light on people and causes around the world, our focus will be on creating content that informs but also gives hope. As new parents, 
Making inspirational family programming is also important to us, as is powerful storytelling through a truthful and relatable lens. We are pleased to work with Ted Sarandos and the team at Netflix, whose unprecedented reach will help us share impactful content that unlocks action. Another reason security might have been top of mind for the pair, is that stepping out into the spotlight for those first in-depth interview, while discussing weighty personal and political issues about the royal family can bring about new threats. They also revealed details about their home and recreational activities. It would be an elevated risk, in my opinion, Conroy says of security needs after the Winfrey chat. Also, some are conflicted about the interview, so that could pose some security risks as well. Yet to date, no one has actually itemized how these costs were determined. In one week, Meghan Marco and Prince Harry's nuclear CBS interview with Oprah Winfrey became a global television event that toppled incendiary presenter Piers Morgan from Good Morning Britain and now leaves a sizable question mark over Sharon Osbourne's future as a co-host of the talk. But, it's the war of words being played out across the Atlantic that has prompted extensive pearl clutching from British royal watchers puzzled, by US outlets controlling the narrative about the British royal family. In the latest jaw-dropping development, Gail King, a co-host on CBS This Morning and Winfrey's BFF, revealed on the 16th of March that, Prince Harry has been in touch with his father, Prince Charles, and brother, Prince William. Buckingham Palace is likely very worried but, notably, is in uncharted territory and won't know how to respond, Fitzwilliam says. It's not possible to know how on earth you can have a conversation with Harry and then have Gail King report it. To see a major update on private family conversations revealed by an American broadcaster other than the British press is unprecedented, says royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams. On the 12th of March, the results of a poll by data analytics firm YouGov revealed that the couple's ratings have fallen to their lowest levels ever in the UK. Around 45% of Brits have a positive opinion of Prince Harry, while 48% see him negatively, giving a net score of minus 3, a precipitous drop of 15 points from the 2nd of March, and the first time UK attitudes have tipped into the negative for the prince. As for Meghan, 31% have a positive opinion of her, while 58% view her negatively, giving her a net rating of minus 27, down from minus 14. Actor Eric Roberts, who appeared in nine episodes of Suits is standing by Meghan Markle. When asked if he saw Meghan Markle bully anyone on set, Roberts said, of course not, because she's not a bully, in my experience, at all. Robert says their one-on-one -on -one interactions were always lovely. She could not have been more gracious, and she was always sweet to me, Robert said. Robert says he watched Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's interview with Oprah and could relate to the tension between the two royal brothers. Robert has had his own rocky relationship with sister, actress Julia Roberts and has some advice for Harry and William. Here's what I know about family. Whatever the family circumstances belongs to the family. They created it and they have to resolve it, Roberts said. Thank you for watching our video. Please support growing channel by subscribe channel and like video hour. And don't forget activate notifications to channel to always get the latest news. If you have any problems with the information in the video, please write a comment below to let us know and answer.